Good evening, everyone. Shall you all stand up and let's welcome Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will come and touch you tonight. And he will heal you tonight. He is the one who will set you free tonight. So focus to God and open your heart. Just open your heart and expect. Expect from God. He will do something new tonight. He will do something new tonight. I'm just a vessel, but He is the one who will lead this service. With our Holy Spirit help, I can even say even a word. So let's, let's welcome Holy Spirit. Father God, speak to us tonight, Lord. Use me for your glory, Lord. Bless your people tonight through me, Lord. Speak your people through me tonight, Lord. Use me for your glory, Lord. I commit this moment into your hand and we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen, amen and amen. Let's read John chapter 5. I'm not going to take that very long because <clears throat> some of you have to go to work tomorrow. It's not going to take that long. And also, I'm preaching the whole month, the whole month with, <laughs> without stopping. So I have, to, I, I have to preach tonight short and sweet. That's my plan, you know. But I, I don't know what the Lord planned. So, so I have to follow His plan. Anyway, okay, John chapter 5. Uh, by the way, let me introduce myself. Some people, uh, some, some of you, they, you know me, but some of you, you don't know. Um, my name is David La. I was born in, in Burma, but I live in Canada now. Um, I have only one wife. <laughs> by the grace of God. <laughs> but three kids. I have three kids. They all live in in Canada, Toronto, which very cool place. But by the grace of God, 2012 <clears throat> and 2000, 1995, I left from Burma. And 2000, we <clears throat> we moved to Canada. 2012, God spoke to me. That time, I wasn't ready to come back here, but God said, go, just go. If God speak to you, obey and do it. Doesn't matter how hard, doesn't matter what it is, just do it. Just do it. So I came back. I didn't have enough money, but God spoke to me to do the seminar or revival meeting in Yangon. So 2012, since that day on, God touched so many people's life. Some celebrities came to know Jesus Christ through our ministry. When I came here, just me, but now God 
make a team up for the glory of God. Dream ministry. Our, our ministry called dream ministry. He said, what is a dream? Dream ministry? So you guys sleeping all the time? No, 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 that. Dream means D, discipleship. Jesus made disciple within three and a half years. Discipleship, revival, evangelism, assembly, and mission. That's our dream. That's our dream. That's our purpose. So, yeah, you don't want to know my, my story, right? You want to know whether Jesus Christ, right? He is everything. My, my brother, one of my brothers said, Hey, Dave, if you want to be a champion, learn from the champion. Who is your champion? Jesus is. Amen. So, okay, let's study. Um, John chapter 5. Let's read from 1. through eight sometime later jesus okay uh yeah what version is that is that uh uh, uh niv niv is better yeah better better for me king james is hard for me you know, thou thee thy you know it's a little bit make me confused you know my english is very good so <laughs> you see uh like 15 years ago Trinidad um, Tobago Trinidad Trinidad Tobago am, am, I, am I correct Tr Trinidad Tobago church one of the church in Trinidad T T Tobago in Canada they invite me I was invited to go and preach there but at that time my English was very bad very bad I don't know why this oh, I said pastor his name is pastor Lincoln Lincoln Ali he uh, his background is a Muslim background, but he came to know Jesus Christ. Uh, God changed his life, so he became a pastor afterward. Then um, I was invited to preach. I said, hey, pastor, you know my English? <laughs> my English was pretty bad. You know, that's why. No, we don't care your English. We care your anointing. So just come. So I was there. But I tried to preach about communion. But I keep talking about community. <laughs> Nobody understands what I'm trying to preach. But by the grace of God, one lady, after that, after service, one lady came up and, Pastor, yes. I want to accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. <laughs> I said, what? Do you understand? I said, I don't understand what you're talking about. But, <laughs> but I felt I really want to accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. So since that day on, I know that <laughs> so many people came to know Jesus Christ, not because of me, because of Holy Spirit. So uh, tonight, you know, uh, let's read. Let's read chapter 1, verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 1 to 8. Verses five, 1 to 8. Okay. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for a feast of the Jews. Now there is in Jerusalem near the sheep gate a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie the blind the lame the paralyzed one was one who was there had been in invalid for 38 years 38 years my question today is how long have you been there how long how long have you been there suffering diseases and financial problem debt 
physical problem mental problem financial problem so many christians they they are they they've been saved so many years they've been saved for so many years but they trap and they they can move on they couldn't move on they just stuck right there and they love the lord they love god very much but the problem is whatever they do whatever they do they lost as so many christians they've been suffer diabetic high blood pressure and cancer for so many years and so many christians they came to me and and, and they asked me pastor we love god very much we pray to god we fast and pray and we go to church every week why me why why me we love the lord we love god very much and we tithe faithfully and we give tithe faithfully and we give offering faithfully every month and every year we give first fruit the very first income we give to God but why we still in debt why we go to so many crusade but we see so many people they got they set free but not me why here 38 years verse 6 when Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time you might have a question why me why me why me let me tell you this God sees you God knows you God knows you've been there you've been in this situation you've been in this condition for so many years God knows but let me tell you this all my brothers and sisters so many Christians they are like this man this man waiting for the miracles that's why so many Christians they go to miracle crusade miracle crusade every miracle crusade and they go they go they go but let me tell you this learned Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time he asked him do you want to get well tonight God is asking you very simple question God is asking you tonight do you want to get well do you want to set free from that bondage do you want to set free from that financial problem do you want to do you want to why he stuck there for so many years why why he been there for 38 years why i asked the lord why lord and god spoke to me 
And God asked him, Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? Very simple question. Very simple. He's asking you today. But hey, everybody has problem. Family problem. Or some health problem. Education problem, financial problem. But God is asking you now, do you want to get well? He's asking you tonight. He's asking you. And he replies, sir, the invalid reply. I have no one to help me. You see, that's the problem. That's the problem, all my brothers and sisters. That's the problem. Even though you are, you are, even though you are believer, even though you are Christian, you've been there for so many years. God wants to bless you. God wants to take you out of that problem. But your focus is in the wrong place your focus is very important Jesus was asking him do you want to get well and he replied sir I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred while I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. No one helped me. No one support me. No one look after me. No one, no one, no one. Why he been there for so many years? Why he been there for 38 years? Because he, he, he is waiting for help from other people my business is not well because of my brother my he, he have money but he doesn't want to help me that's why his business is still the same never grow never success never get success because the problem is he focused to a human being. Sir, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, I try, I try, I try, but because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that, when I have money, they took from me. They let, I lend them. They borrow some money from me. When I don't have money, they don't care about me. They, 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 he, 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 she, she, because of them, because of them, because of them, they are, they are, they are. No, let me tell you this. Don't focus the people. If you are a believer, if you want to see the miracles, let me tell you this. Every morning, every morning, I love, this, I love that song. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. They are new every morning. He already blessed you. He already healed you. But you, 
He already blessed you. He already healed you. He done everything for you. But you must know He done everything for you through Jesus Christ. So your focus must be Jesus. Not human being. Not human. Not the people. You know, I, I can't do anything because of them. I'm not get well because of them. No. Don't blame. Don't point it to any... No one. I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. When I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. They didn't help me. They, 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 no. Jesus said, then Jesus said to him, get up. Jesus said, get up. Pick up your mat and walk. Mat and walk. He said, don't say anything. Don't blame to anyone. I've been happening like this because of them, because of this, because of that, because of don't blame anyone from this day on. All you have to do is listen what the Lord tried to tell you now. Our God is a speaking God. He's speaking to you right now. So many Christians said, Oh, Pastor, you are a man of God. That's why you can hear the word of God. You can hear the voice of God. We are not. I said, You know why you cannot hear his vo voice? Oh, we want to hear his voice. Oh, if you want to hear his voice, start to read the Bible. And they closed their Bible and they said, Oh, we want to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice. Spend time with the Word of God. And so many Christians said, Oh, a pastor, I don't know what to do. What should I do, pastor? If you don't know what to do, don't do anything. And I said, Pastor, what should I do? Can you tell me what should I do? I, I said, Okay, if you don't know, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. And the Bible said, be still and know that I'm God. Be still and know that I'm God. So all you have to do is spend time with the Word of God. Spend time with the Word of God. Most Christians said, oh, I, you know, um, I, I was so busy in these days, you know, I have no time to read the Bible. You know what, what, what does the busy stand for? Being under Satan yoke. I was so busy in these days, busy, busy, busy. No, 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 no. But you have time to eat, right? You have time for breakfast, right? Lunch, dinner, sometimes supper and, and snack. Five, six times. You have time for that. So skip two meals and spend time with the Word of God. Then you will hear His voice. You know why this man been there for 38 years because because he can hear his voice he can hear his voice why he can hear his voice because he kept on listening this man set free oh this man this man this man why me why why him why me why him he is set free now. Oh, he got miracle now. Why me? Don't. That's why the Bible said, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. You are righteous. By the blood of Jesus, you are righteous. You are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. 
you are righteous you are righteous so you are qualified to hear his voice all you have to do is spend time with the word of god don't spend time with the instagrams and and, and facebook and uh, what else what else huh which which uh, I cannot hear you. You see, you see here. That's wasting time, man. Invest your time. Invest your time. You can waste your time. One day you will regret it. If you invest your time, what what does that mean? Invest your time. You have to you, you, you have to spend time with the word of God. That's investing your time. Then God will speak to you. God will speak to you. When God speaks to you, when you hear His voice, start to do it. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the Word of God. 2003. That time, I was working for um, the steel company. Um, my Q, uh, as a QC <clears throat> quality control uh, technician so I worked for that company <clears throat> for five years after that God uh, God spoke to me that day, that morning that morning when I read the Bible because I woke up five o'clock every morning and I start to read the Bible. I, I, I read the Bible. I read the Bible every day. And that day, God spoke to me through uh, 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 Romans chapter 8 verse 32. And God called me for, for the ministry. God called me to quit the job and start to do the ministry, full-time ministry. So when I hear, because... I knew that scripture. I knew the scripture by heart. But that day, when I read that scripture, God spoke to me. And I hear, this, this, this is a written word. Oh, my brothers, this is a written word. When you read that written word, you need the guidance by the Holy Spirit. When you read the Bible, you have to pray. Holy Spirit help when I read that when I read that scripture Holy Spirit Holy Spirit came upon me and 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 he spoke to me through that word Romans chapter 8 verse 32 I knew that scripture so many years but that day my faith was rise up and I dared to quit my job God can speak to you but you have to spend time with the word of God see 38 years he's been there for 38 years why he keep looking 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 he keep looking for the miracles but all he need is he need the word of God he need to hear the word of God the word of God the word of God is very important in our life that word like Okay, when we read the Bible, this is a written word. It's called Logos. And when Holy Spirit speak through, see here, Logos, when you read the Logos, you must, you need to hear the Rima. Rima. Rima is a spoken word. Logos is a written word. If you are a children of God, you can't just knowing the written word. You must hear Rima, spoken word. That's why we need Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our helper. Holy Spirit is a teacher. 
So that day, Holy Spirit spoke to me. And I got revelation, revealed, revelation. He revealed, he unveiled my eyes to see the thing that he really want me to see. Then suddenly, my faith will rise up and wow! Jesus died on the cross for me. Jesus paid the price for me. So why would I worry for my, 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 my family? He will support me. And I quit my job. That time, no. Like, there's no, no one support can support me that day. Even church, my church, I'm the one who support them. I, I, I have no salary. But that day, through the scripture, God spoke to me. I'm your source. Your job is resource. I am the source. So just stand on my word and do what I call you to do. And I stand on that word and I stand on the promises of God. And I said, two, since 2003, I begin my ministry since 2003 and up to this day he was so faithful he's so faithful he's so faithful and now I've been preaching for so many uh, in so many countries 24 countries already God opened the door to preach the gospel. And so many non-believers came to know Jesus Christ. All you have to do is learn to stand on the word of God. You see that man, God spoke to him. Don't say anything. Don't blame on anyone. All you have to do is do what I said. Get up. Get up. Pick up your mat. Mat. And walk. At once. At once. The man was cured. He picked up his mat. And walked. You've been there for so many years in problem diseases why because you don't learn learn to stand on the word of god you, you didn't spend time with the word of god see faith come by hearing hearing by the word of god faith come by hearing hearing by the word of god so you need to hear the word of God. You need to hear the Rima, not Logos. Logos giving you information. Rima give you revelation. Information. Logos give you information. But you need the Holy Spirit when you read the Logos written word and Holy Spirit will come and touch you and Holy Spirit will lead you then you will get the revelation then you will know what, what God really want you to do then you do it and you will see the miracle let me tell you this all my brothers and sisters we are waiting for the miracles but God already done for you all you have to do is all you have to do you have to cooperate with God you see God about to God about to open the door for you but you have to step in by faith but God God already make a way for you but you have to, you have to 
step out by faith you have to walk in there by faith that's why the bible said the judge shall live by faith you are you are righteous by the blood of jesus all you need is faith faith how can you have how 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 can you have faith faith come by hearing hearing by the word of god so keep on listening keep on listening his word keep on spend time with the word of god in, instead of spending time other worldly things you have to spend time with the word of god every day and 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 when the time come god will speak to you god will unveil your eye to see the glory of god open a uh, god will open your ears to hear your voice all you have to do is you know you have to spend time with god then god will tell you hey i've been prepared i've been prepared for so many years but you didn't do it by faith that's why you didn't see so all my brothers and sisters you've been there for 38 years but when god spoke to him when god spoke to him suddenly he stepped on he stand on his word he can tell get up and he's and, and and he can he can reply back to jesus oh i've been there for 38 years could you help me could you could you uh, carry me out no he didn't say anything god said get up if god said get up and he didn't say anything god said get up and suddenly immediately cure immediately at once cure by the power of god hey let me tell you this just one word can change your entire life just one word just one word but that word is revealed by the power of god revealed by the holy spirit hey let me, let me tell you this okay don't worry about tomorrow you know that scripture right don't worry about tomorrow but with that revelation you still worry about tomorrow that's logos you know logos don't worry about tomorrow it's logos but you know but without holy spirit help you still worry about tomorrow but one holy spirit reveal one holy spirit help you to to able to stand on his word hey let me tell you this you cannot have faith by yourself without holy spirit help that's why here holy spirit help him jesus said get up and suddenly his cue suddenly he healed now holy spirit is speaking you holy spirit is speaking to you right now holy spirit is speaking to you right now but you have to fellowship with him every day not only that not only that you have to spend time with god you know that oh i have to spend time with god but there's no but in the kingdom of god oh i i i i have to spend time uh, i know i know i have to spend time with god but i was so busy in these days hey no excuse god doesn't like ex excuses if you know it just do it say just do it no just do it you know nike this is nike right <laughs> Nike, just do it. If you know it, just do it. Do it. If you do it, he will tell you. God wants to do something. God wants to do something new in your life. If you want to see the miracles in your life, all you have to do is my brothers and sisters spend time with the word of god and don't blame anyone if somebody did something wrong to you forgive them and obey the word of god forgive them 
Pastor, you don't know. You don't know what he has done to me. You don't know. Don't say anything. Forgive. If you want to see the miracle, forgive. Forgive. Do what he said and you will see the miracles in your life. You will see the miracles in your life. Don't give him excuse. Don't give him excuse. Father, you know what he has done to me. I want to forgive, but I couldn't. Don't say that. Don't say that. If you need why, Jesus said, okay, bring the water and put it in the jar. And they could, they could tell, tell him, no, we want why, not water, Jesus. Why, why we have to put water? What he want is obedience. What he want is obedience. If he said, put water in the jar. Put, put water in the jars. That's it. That, do what he said. What he asks you to do. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Then you will see. You will see. Put it. No, 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 Lord, we know, we know, we want why, not water. We could tell like this, but Jesus said, do it. Forgive, forgive, just do it. Then after that, you will get the best why. The best, if you want to see the best year in your life, the best year. If you want 2019 is the best year, all you have to do is do what He asks you to do. Forgive and forgive. <coughs> put the water in the jars, just put it there. And after that, you will get the best why. Do it. Lord, you don't know, Lord, God knows everything. You don't know God. He is the one who make me to be like this. He, he is the one, Lord. Lord, that's why I cannot forgive. I can forgive, but I cannot forget. Don't say it. Forgive, forget the same. If God said forget, forget it. Forgive them just... God, Jesus said forgive forgive them and if you want to see the miracles in your life forgive and do what God called you to do and you will see the miracles every day of your life don't excuse don't give him excuse do what God called you to do that's why you have to spend time with the word of God every day so that you will know what God want you to do so many Christians they they, they they came to me and said pastor what should i do what should i do what should i do i said okay spend time with god then you will know i'm not god i'm not your savior he is your savior he can speak to you he is a speaking god he will speak to you spend time with him Spend time with him. So many Christians, they never grow because if they need something, they go to pastor. They never spend time with God. That's why they never grow. I'm not saying that you have to pay respect to your pastor, but your pastor is not your savior. You can pray with him. You can pray with them. But let me tell you this you have to spend time with the word of God then you will hear his voice when you hear his voice and just do it just do it one girl she got tumor tumor brain tumor 
and it's that brain tumor caused because of the lung cancer lung cancer is stage four already so she was so scared i said don't scare nothing is impossible with god all you have to do from this day on stop thinking about your diseases meditate with the word of god meditate with the word of god when negative things come don't accept it this brain this brain has filter this brain has filter <coughs> i have learned learned uh, uh, two days ago the scientists the scientists they found out that this brain cannot receive so many information because tw- like every day information coming so this brain has filter so if you the brain has filter and whatever you agree whatever you agree it, it, even though negative if you agree with the negative things that brain save negative things and positive out so that's why very important when the word of god come save it and negative things come reject it reject it that's why the bible said let the weak say let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich let the blind say even though you are poor right now visualize it visualize it and believe it because my god shall supply all our need my god shall supply all our need our god shall supply all our need according to his riches and glory through christ jesus that's why we don't have to accept what what you see right now believe it my god shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory my father's rich so he will supply me all my need when the time come in the meantime i have to keep on keep on uh, keep on speak it out by faith the best is coming the best thing is coming is on my way I don't accept what's happening right now what I believe is God will do something great things in my life that's what I believe that's what I accepted that's what I have to we have to believe that nothing is impossible with God we have to believe that and all the negative things come you have to reject it and all the promises of god come save it agree with god agree with god and negative things come no that's not for me that's not for me that's not for me when negative come oh, they don't love me they don't love me because i'm poor that's why they don't want to be my uh, they, they don't want to be my, my my friend so they don't want to be be together with me blah 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 so forget about the the negative thought and keep on listening keep on listening what god say and receive it receive it receive it receive it and you have to open the door for the word of god close close it for the negative things and keep on doing that and one day one day one day
God will raise you up. You will reach the destination. You will reach your destiny. God has a great plan for each and every one. God has a great plan for each and every one. Don't allow negative thought in your mind. That's why the Bible said, renew your mind. So this man been there for 38 years because he allowed negative things, negative things, negative things. That day he hear God's voice and he accepted what happened. Miracle. Miracle start. So all my brothers and sisters, 2019 is ahead of you. All you have to do is don't accept what the people say. Don't listen what the people say. And listen what the Lord says. And you will see the miracles every day. Stand on the promises of God and believe the word of God and do what God called you to do. What happened? You become a channel of the blessing. You become a channel of the blessing. So God will open your eyes to see His glory. God will open your ears to hear your voice every day. When I, I'm telling you this because this is my experience. That's what my experience. I spent time with the Word of God and one day God spoke to me. When I walk on the street, that man, that man, he been there for so many years. Yesterday, no, 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 yesterday, three days ago, I saw him. He been taking medicine for 17 years. 17 years. He got operation two times already in Bangkok, but nothing changed. There's no changes. So he was so upset. And he came to me. And he tried to speak to me so many things. I said, brother, please don't stop. Don't say anything. Let me listen. What the Lord say. And I listened. And he said, nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong. I said, okay, what happened, Lord? Why he suffered for 17 years? Why? Even though, like, operation done, nothing changed. Why, Lord? <coughs> and God spoke to me. And forgiveness. And forgiveness. He couldn't forgive his sister. 20 years already. And then, is that, is that it? He said, no. So, what, what has Lord and God spoke to me? Because he depends on the medicine a lot. Ask him. But don't throw the medicine until you hear the, the voice of God. And God spoke to me that day. Brother, throw 20 pills every day. He took 20 pills every day. You depend on the medicine a lot. That's why it's happening like this. So throw it. He threw it. He threw the medicine. And now three days already. And I phoned him. What happened? I'm healed. I'm healed. I, if he didn't take the medicine, if he don't take the medicine, even one hour, the blood come out. And they're like, like runny nose. Nothing can stop that problem. He, he, he kept on taking that medicine. But that day, three days already now, he healed. Nothing happened. 17 years. 
because he focused on what the people say. If you want to hear his voice, obey the word of God. Obey the word of God. And he, God said, get up. Get up and walk. He obeyed. And he said, no, no, I cannot get up because 38 years, I've been here for 38 years. He didn't say anything. He obeyed and he got up. There's miracle. All my brothers and sisters, spend time with the word of God. Whatever God says, do it. Just do it. And every day you will see the miracles. Hallelujah. 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 May God bless you. And now when I'm preaching, God spoke to me to pray for the lady who have knee problem right here. Right knee. Today, God will not only one, uh, three. One man, uh, sorry, two men and one woman. Just come forward and receive healing. And God is a great God. God is a great God. Bring some chair for me, please. Bring some chair. Okay. Two men. Kneel problem. Just come up here. Come up here. Sit, sit there. Yeah. Kneel problem. Just come. Just come. Just come. Just come. Don't pray. Don't be afraid. God will do something new. God will do something new tonight. Hallelujah. Shall we all stand up? Shall we all stand up and worship to the Lord? Come Holy Spirit, follow me now. I need your anointing. Um, God said, don't worry. He will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Just wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. He will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. God knows. God sees your problem. God knows your problem. You have to make the decision. But God will help you to make the right decision. But all you have to do is just give thanks to God. Just give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Because you are in His hand. You are in His hand. He will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. Holy Spirit. Yes, hallelujah. Holy Spirit is, is, is leading you right now. You don't have to worry. Because He is leading you right now. He will sustain you. He will guide you. Hallelujah. Put everything in His hand. Put everything in His hand. Hallelujah. You cannot do anything. All you have to do is put everything in His hand. And He will fight for you he will fight for you he will fight for you hallelujah he will fight for you thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah just our those who have financial problem please come up right away please come up please come up hallelujah please come up please come up here 
Hallelujah, brother. Father, thank you for today and thank you for all that you have done, Lord. Lord, bless your people. And Lord, draw them near you to stand on your word. Bless them. Teach them to stand on your word, Lord. To obey your word, Lord. Open their eyes to see your glory, Lord. Open their ears to hear your voice, Lord Father. Draw them close to you every day, Lord, so that they may hear your voice every day, Lord Father. Use them for your glory, Lord Father. Let them know that your word is, is very important to grow. Holy Spirit, lead us, guide us, and teach us, Lord. We commit our life to you, Lord. We commit our life to you again, Lord. Use us for your glory. And thank you for all that you have done. And thank you for all that you are going to do. And we give thanks and we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen to God be the glory. Hallelujah.